You start the game by setting out the three sector deployment zone. You will place Thanos in the center of this deployment zone facing in any sector that you choose. Start by shuffling your deck. You will then take nine cards and place them face up around the designated sections on the three sector deployment zone. Next, you will want to place down the infinity gauntlet. Then you will want to place down the infinity stone disc face up followed by the six infinity stones on their designated card. Now it's time for you to choose your team base card, the correct team member hero card, and the accompanying team token. Now, let's get into the game. The person who most recently watched a Marvel movie is who is going to go first. Now grab the Thanos and Infinity Stone die and roll. You want to first look at the color the Infinity Stone die lands on. Whatever color it lands on, you will add a yellow Infinity Stone counter on one of the squares. Keep in mind, if you fill up all five squares, you will turn over the stone and a negative action will happen. Next, you want to look at Thanos' action skill die. If you get a side with an L or an R, you will turn Thanos in the designated direction. If you land on the gauntlet side of the die, it will activate the abilities of all the villains in the sector that Thanos is in, but Thanos remains in the same position. If you roll the side of the die with the Infinity Stone on it, you will re-roll and resolve the action of the previous roll. Now let's get on how to get heroes and how her heroes are hurt and possibly killed. Before you roll, you will place your team deployment zone token in one of the three sectors. If Thanos lands on this sector, every hero in your deck will, deal, will be dealt one damage. If Thanos lands in the sector with your deployment token, one damage will be dealt to every character in your hero cards. If there is a villain in the section that Thanos lands on, you will look at the villain card and do the special activity that is done on the card. Now it's time for you to roll your power dice. This will vary from person to person based on which team based card you have and the power dice that are showed on the card. If there is a villain in your section, you can use the dice to roll and attack and do damage to the villain. Now let's say you receive a card such as Black Panther, and you roll your dice and you get two bangs and you don't receive an eye or a planet. You can place down the bang and re-roll left over whatever dice you have. If you re-roll and get nothing that you can use, you are allowed to place a dice aside and re-roll. As you play through the game, you'll get more and more heroes and add to the amount of power dice you have. You can get extra dice, tokens, or anything else. As the game progresses, you will slowly defeat Thanos' villains. Once you have reached 10 villains that have been defeated, you have won the game and you have defeated Thanos. On the other hand, if Thanos has taken out 10 heroes, you will fall into the gauntlet and lose to Thanos. Now it is your turn to save the galaxy.